a lot of opportunity to, to develop your faith and to meet students um, who come from similar backgrounds or different backgrounds just so you can learn and, and grow together as a community. They have praise jam sessions. They also have chapel services each Thursday. Wednesday nights I go to faith in the media discussions. I also go to Simply Brethren events. The most important thing to me as I teach religion is to teach students how to think about religion and that it's not just believing things just because someone told you to believe them but there are actually reasons for different beliefs and to expose them to a broad range of beliefs. Pretty much since I've started college, I've actually grown in my faith a lot. I guess in high school I was, I thought I was strong in my faith and then I came here and I realized that I could grow stronger and that's what I did. Being in philosophy class, you know, and they ask you lots of questions about religion and they really challenge you, but um, I've been able to develop a really strong group of friends who um, come from similar backgrounds than me. There's all kinds of opportunities here that uh, encourage students to really stretch. Manchester is really committed to service, whether it's helping young children learn to read or building houses for Habitat for Humanity. Manchester is a place that welcomes people of all faith backgrounds. Students encounter people whose experiences and beliefs are very, very different than their own. Um, in some cases, it challenges what they believe. In other cases, it uh, leads them to question what they believe, um, but never do we try and tell students what they should believe. We don't have a statement of faith that everybody has to sign. My big hope is that everyone can connect to and engage their faith in some way, wherever they happen to be on their faith journey, and that may mean different things for different people. Chapel is completely optional. All the other groups are optional. We want faith to be something that people choose, um, not because it's something that's in your face here, but something that's growing in your soul.